Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we are back with some more British candy. So we just wanted to say thank you to Snap Crate for sending us over some goodies. <laughs> I went to go grab it. I went to go grab it, I don't know why. <laughs> but before we get into this one, we just want to say a huge thank you to the like 60 subscribers we yeah. got from our last video. I don't know what happened, YouTube must have recommended yeah. us. But to anyone who found our video to, or who viewed it or anything like that, liked it, we got like 80 likes. Um, huge thank you and welcome to our channel. Yes, welcome to our little family. We passed 100 subscribers, which was our goal. Mm -hmm. If you go watch our other video, so that's huge. We're up to like 129. So I can't wait to see what we get to after this one. Yeah, we're, we're excited. We're, we're building a little small community here. Yeah. And if you're new here, subscribe. Yes, if you find this video, don't, join the little community. Don't miss out on the, the excitement. <laughs> I get to change my nose through the whole thing. So because of that, we want to give back to you guys. And we have a little something, give a small little giveaway planned if we can get to 500 yes. subscribers. So that's our next goal. Mm -hmm and uh, help us get there, so go subscribe right now, please. <laughs> <laughs> and share, share it with your friends and family. Yeah, like that's awesome too. You, if you never guys, know. If you think we're idiots, if we think, you're, if yeah. you think we're funny, if you, you think, think we're, we're annoying. Yeah, all that stuff. We also got a few people asking us if we have a P.O. box or if, you know, we, you guys can send us some stuff, but we've talked about that and we think it'd be better if we got a little bit more following. That way we can have like, dozens of people send us stuff and then make a whole video based on that. Yeah. So again, 500 subscribers, that'd be something we'd look into mm -hmm. and because that'd be fun. Yeah, we want, we want to get you guys involved with what we're doing here because you guys are, you know, we're blowing, you're blowing us away with all the support. So, all right. Let's get Let's into it. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to get started with some chips. Mm -hmm. We've got four different chips here, I believe. Four very different chips. Yes. And they also gave us this little information card with each thing on it. Um, so I don't know if it's helpful. We'll read to... off like what I guess it tells you about yeah. it and stuff like that. They also gave us a uh, recipe to how to make scones. British scones. British scones. So if you want to see us make some British scones, you might do that in another video. It might be a little interesting. Yeah, because that'd be funny because I'm like a little chef. Uh, what's that guy's name? Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you are? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like gunk. So, we are going to start off with some Monster Munch. I think we tried a, mon a flaming Hot Munch. We did, yeah, we got a few. <laughs> Munch. <laughs> monster Munch. We got a few comments um, saying that the, sp like the spicy flavor is not like totally true because we didn't find it really hot. No. No. As, uh, also, someone else commented saying not to try these. The pickled onion one. Pickled onion one. So, so now we're kind of So now it. we're about to try them. It says crispy corn snacks shaped like a monster paw infused with a zesty pickled onion flavor. Scary delicious. Ooh, <laughs> scary delicious. <laughs> Opening her up. Ooh. Okay, and also we used to do ratings from 1 to 10, but I think we're going to change it from A to D. Yeah. A, B, C, oh, and S tier is number one. Okay. <laughs> These actually kind of smell good. So they do look like uh, oh, monster, paws. monster paws. Don't they smell good? They really do smell like pickled, but we got fooled last time because we thought pickled was going to taste like dill pickle. Yeah. But I like those. That's really good. Wow. Do you think it tastes like dill pickle? A little. A little bit. The aftertaste. Yeah. Wow, I really like those. It's almost like a dill pickle, like a cheesy. Like mm -hmm. the, it's like a cheesy um, without the cheese. And then yeah. you replace the cheese with dill pickle. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I really, I want another one. I'll give that a B. I like that. Oh, I'm going to give it like an A. Wow. All right. Like, so not A plus, not A minus, A. Oh, we're going to A plus and minus. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I'll give that a B plus then. How do you eat without my mouth open? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Mm. B plus. 
Oh, really good. Good start. So next, we got something that I'm a little scared for. We got some Walker's Worcestershire sauce. That was pretty good. That was pretty yeah. good. So we've had the Walker's before, but not this flavor. Yeah. Have you ever had this sauce before? Mm hmm I use it, my, well, my mom uses it a lot in cooking. Okay, interesting. It says, arguably the most popular chip brand in the UK, we've either included the Worcestershire flavor chips or french fries. So obviously we got the yeah. Worcestershire flavor. I kind of wish we would have got the french fries because they seem like they get cool. Yeah, but this this would be interesting. Yeah. These might be, the same flavor. Might be really bad. Possibly. Okay, open air and up. No. Okay. Oh, they kind of some just smell. smells like gravy. Yeah, actually, it's supposed to be Swiss Chalet sauce. Yeah, we've got a. I don't. It's Swiss Chalet. No, I think it's just Canadian. Yeah, Swiss Chalet has like a like a dipping sauce. It's yeah. a restaurant here. Oh, that, that smells like... really good. These might be really good. Yeah. Regular chips. I think their bags are really small. Yeah, they are. Because we're fat. Okay, ready? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's got like a like a tang to it. Like mm. a really salty. Wow. Mm. Those are really wow. good. Those surprised me. Because I didn't think I was gonna like those. I don't even know if I've had Worcester you sauce. Probably have. I don't put it on anything. It's like soy sauce, but I think just extra oh, okay. salty. For sure. We use it a lot in like Caesars. Pretty yeah. pretty close to soy sauce. Very mm. salty. I give those like a B plus. S. Those are better than those. Hands down, those are better. What? These are better. First S tier of the day. Crazy. Very good. They're good though. I wouldn't say anything bad about them. Okay. So next we've got. Okay, these ones I'm a little iffy about them. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you always have to be drinking them. <laughs> they are the Skeps Light Melty Prawn Cocktail. So I know you guys are big on your prawn flavors, yeah. I'm pretty sure. If you go back to uh, in, in another video we, where we had like some of the weirdest chips on the internet, mm -hmm. we had some prawn or shrimp flavor yeah. and it was pretty I real. didn't even eat them. No, she wouldn't even go near them but the so smell I'm was so kind strong. kind of iffy about these, but these ones are this light and airy shrimp flavored snack will tickle your tongue with a tingly and tangy sensation. Tingle <laughs> So, um, I'm nervous about these because... They're, okay, open up. Also, I think someone commented on one of our videos about these. Oh, interesting. If I you did, think. shout out. Thank you for all the comments, like explaining things that we're doing wrong or saying wrong because, yeah, I didn't know that Blake, grape was black currant. Yeah, we just always have grape this in our grape. It smells like dirty feet. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that smells like when you walk into like your friend's house and the mom is making yeah. something and you're like, yeah. I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. But you're like, oh yeah, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat that. Okay, yeah, these, these are just bizarre. And they're really light, like they're really... Well, they say light and airy. True. They say right here, light and melty, so I can't read. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. Okay, three, two, one. Body of Christ. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> it's the texture. Yeah, so it's like, like melts in your mouth almost. Uh uh. Not even the texture. I don't even look at the flavor. <laughs> Is that even English? I don't like the flavor. Yeah, the flavor, it, it, it's not really that strong. I just am not a big fan of like seafood in general, so like that just... Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't really taste the prawn cocktail, I guess, I do. but uh, yeah, like a C. I, I give those a D, D minus. They're not very You're good. almost at an F there, prawn cocktail. Yeah, that's bad. But you almost heard the bat, the first F of it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, nothing special, but no. not not very good. But if they're your favorite crisp, uh, yeah. Tell us I'm how stupid sorry. we are. <laughs> so we got one more, like crisp. Like, yeah, sorry, crisp. Um, packet here, which are go ahead. Smith's Frazzles crispy bacon. Mm -hmm. 
I've never heard of Smith's. No, and these ones say they're a delicious crispy bacon flavored corn chip that pair perfectly with a frosty beverage. Oh, so. Or like a beer? <laughs> I was thinking of Frosty. <laughs> They don't have Frosties in the UK. Well, oh, maybe you do. Do you have Wendy's? I don't know. Yeah, is Wendy's even a thing? In the Everyone UK? comment below, like, you will. <laughs> yeah, let us know how, again, how stupid we are. But I was thinking, like, we, some people dip the fries in the Frosty. I feel like, are these things just like hickory sticks? Yeah, maybe. Hickory sticks are like smoked bacon. Again, I don't know if you guys have hickory sticks in the UK. They don't. Oh, cool. So they look like oh very bacony little bacon they strips smell. little bacon strips. I really can eat this because it smells like Coco's dog treat. Oh yeah, <laughs> it smells like dog treat. It smells like Coco's dog bacon dog treat. Oh my god! So if you have a dog, go to get one of their treats and just have like, a not like not lying, spot on. Because a lot of dog treats are bacon. Oh, I don't know. You got I... it. You got it. Three, two, one. Oh. Mm, that's good. That's yeah, good. <laughs> Not dog treat at all. No, very bacon. Mm, those are good. Very flavorful. I feel like I'm really liking the corn chip because the Monster Munch was corn chippy. Yeah, more like puffy. Yeah. Oh, those really are good. That's really good. That's like a really, really, like, real tasting. Bacon. Yeah. You get bacon right away. Not a fan of the smell, but like, the Oh, actual... the smell will put you off, but. Yeah. I would say, good. I would say those are like a. I give them like a A minus, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. I love bacon. All right, so now we've moved on to some <laughs> Jaffa cakes. Jaffa, Jaffa cakes. Jaffa. Not Java. Is it Jaffa? Could be. Jaffa. Is the Jaffa. J like an H? Anyway, Jaffa cakes, biscuit-sized cakes introduced to the UK by McVitie and Price in 1927. <laughs> And named after the popular Jaffa oranges. Okay, so oh, if this so it's is gonna be like orangey. If this is like citrus chocolate, it which is. I guess yeah, you can kind of see. I think it's like a cake though. All right, open three it up. cakes. All right, let's have one each. Oh yeah, it is. It's like a cookie. Oh. So it's like it's like a. Looks like a biscuit. Yeah, but they're all kind of stuck together here. Um. I don't know what I'm like showing you. Cookie. They're soft though. Yeah. I really do like soft cookies. Very melty. Oh. Ooh, very orange. Yep. You can see the orange like. Do you see that shiny? Yeah. Like there's like a little kind of orange. You probably can't see it on the camera, but like I an mean, orange. Pretty good. Orange tinge. It's just very citrusy. Yeah, so if you watched any of our other videos, I'm not a big fan of like fruity chocolates. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Mm -hmm. I mean. I'll give that like a B. I'll give it like a C. Yeah, like a B minus. It's not as bad as the, uh, what did I give a C to? The uh -huh. prawn ones. Like, yeah, I'd rather have these so they're yeah. not that bad. Like, I could eat that. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's but really would, light. Yeah, I wouldn't go for that. I wouldn't pick it out myself. But that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Moving right along to a double decker. <laughs> come, <laughs> come to her, the Britain Knicks on the double decker. Oh, yeah, because you guys have all the double decker bus yeah. buses, the red ones. This two layer chocolate bar has crispy cereal bits on the bottom and silky smooth nougat on the top. Ooh. That sounds delicious. We're a fan of the nougat. Can you open that? Open the mirror. Whoa! Okay. Oh, so it's leaking. I don't know <laughs> if this is. Nipple. Oh, it's been like kind of crushed, I guess, but it's oh. it's kind of leaking, leaking out. I don't know if that's normal with my big head, here, but it's kind of leaking out. It looks delicious. Yeah, it though. does look delicious. First bite. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that looked delicious. Oh wow! That is so good. Yep. Wow. That's my kind of chocolate bar. I could eat that whole thing. Kind of like marshmallowy. Mm-hmm. Not expecting that. 
so Is that what nougat is? Yeah, and those little cereal bits. Those little cereal it. ones at the bottom. Those like little speckles at the bottom. They're so good. With that nougat. Mm. That's like an S tier for me. That's mm -hmm. really good. Wait. What'd you this, give it? I said the same, S tier. Oh, double S T. Yeah. yeah. This next one, we probably aren't gonna try because we have tried it before. Unless you wanna try it again. No, we've had it. We had it in our first British candy video. Um, it was a little mini version, but it's the fudge chocolate bar. Fudge it's chocolate bar. I don't even see that on here. Very exact they calories. They just threw that in. This is even on here. Oh, so yeah, they just threw this okay. little chocolate bar. But yeah, if you want to see our reaction, just go to our first video ever, and that's in there. I know that Nick over here was not a fan. I don't remember. But it's fudgy. The, it's the Christmas. You're like, candy. you're like, oh yeah, I like oh, fudge, I like and you're fudge. like, you <laughs> like that, so you hated it. <laughs> so this next one, I'm really excited for because I've never heard of it before, but Me it's neither. called Wham. Is yep. it Wham? Like the band Wham. It says Brat, 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 Barrett? It's probably Barrett. <laughs> okay, whatever. Borat. It is home to many of the UK's most iconic sweets. We've included either the original Wham Bar or their ever popular Black Jack Chew Bar. Oh, that would have been cool. Yes, yeah, so we got the Wham. Wham, yeah, never heard of it. Which it's... I feel like it's gonna be like Laffy Taffy. It says Wham Original with Sour Crystal. Yeah. Do you wanna open it? Um, yeah, it does, it does feel like Laffy Taffy oh, or, yeah. like, or like an Airhead. Uh, Airheads are popular. Here. That's what it looks like is a Laffy Taffy, isn't it? Yeah, like a tongue. That like looks a, so good Like though. a cow tongue. Oh yeah, you can see the things too. Oh yeah, so if you look through the light, you can see little crystals. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. um, thinking. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I like that. It's just like a Laffy Taffy. Uh huh. But. Hard to chew. I don't know about the flavor. It's not a very strong flavor, but. It's not bad. No. I don't know. Do the UK have Laffy Taffies? I'm sure yeah, we'll hear I'm in the sure, comments. I'm sure you do. It's like a um, Wonka thing. But yeah, or it, heads. that's literally what it tastes like. Yeah, like a Laffy Taffy, but that, I love Laffy Taffy. Yeah. That's really good. I give that like a B. I'll give it an A plus. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I don't really get the sour crystals. No. Friends. It's iconic sweet, so. Yeah, exactly. You guys must love it. Yeah. I liked it though. That was good. Yeah. Next up, we've got Crunchy. Yes. Cadbury Crunchy. Since 1929, Crunchy has been a UK favorite. Features a golden honeycomb center surrounded by delicious Cadbury milk chocolate. So we do have crunchy bars here, which it's actually my favorite chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. um, Weirdo. But we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try it because I want to see if there's a difference in taste or you know. Anything. I can't recall. The first one is ours is a lot more square. I was gonna say I can't recall what it looks like. I'll have to put a picture of our crunchy bars here. Do you want to go first? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, it's I bit my lip. It's crunchy. Oh. I can taste this cream. Your chocolate is a little better on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. British chocolate's so good. Wow. Really? I don't mm. know if I've had a mm, crunchy mm, bar. Mm. I'm gonna eat that whole thing. I'm gonna marry this and yeah, you. Yeah, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta hide this because we haven't even Oh, that's a S tier. That's a that's a that's a, a B plus. I'm not a fan of the texture because oh, I it's love crunchy. It. The honeycomb is a little weird. That, oh, that's another thing I want to point out too is our honeycomb is a lot um, harder. So, like to chew it, it you really gotta Look at that really focus get stuck job. in Sorry, I just cut you off. That's fine. I was doing it anyway. Yeah, that's I, I'm not a fan of the honeycomb, but that's good. That's for after. That's for after dinner. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited about these because I've seen them here in our stores. Curly whirlies. I don't know why it they're says, called that. Imagine a chewy caramel ladder. Now drape it in delicious milk chocolate. 
around since 1970, Curly Whirly is still a firm favorite. Yeah, they're pretty popular if you go to like a British chocolate store. You had them before? Store. Yeah, I think I had it when I was in England. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. <gasps> I don't remember it looking like that. Oh, that looks so good. So like you said, it's like a ladder. Yeah. Or like a pretzel. Is it, it a pretzel? Looks like, no, it's just caramel. Find out. <laughs> yeah, it's all caramel. Oh my wow. gosh. That's so good. Alright, everything's so chewy. Wow. S tier all the way. Wow. Oh. That's so good. Mm -hmm. A plus. Not S tier? No, mm -hmm. not quite there for me. S tier for me? I don't like. Ch oh, I keep saying I don't like that. I love it, or I like it, I enjoy it, huh? I like it, I just don't want the chewiness all the time. I like it. Pretty good though. Yeah, it's good. Nothing wrong with that one. No, I'd have that again for sure. B plus. You just said an A? <laughs> Sorry, A plus. <laughs> You're right, you caught me. Caught me red handed. All right, we're on to the second last one. Boo hoo! We've got <gasps> million, million dollars. <laughs> I want a sugar high now. Million strawberry. This miniature candy packs a big flavor. Enjoy the crunchy outside and the chewy center of these delicious strawberry flavored treats. Oh, there's lots of them. They're like little itty circles. Bitties. Bitties. <laughs> <laughs> so they're little pebbles, but they're jam packed in here. I'm gonna spill these. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Those are so good. Wait, I've been this, hiding my whole life. You mentioned the strawberry flavor? I don't know. The strawberry flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're popping your teeth though. Wow. wow. I just want a few more. Those they're are like, really good biscuits. They're like dipping dots. You uh -huh. know those dipping dots? <laughs> but these are like the, the dots that wow. are in. I mean, oh you've probably God, seen Oh my god, it's so good. Wow. Those are S tier. See, I prefer when candy's chewy. Yeah, I can see that. I'm more of a candy girl than chocolate. That's really good. S tier. Yeah, S tier. Wow. I'm impressed. All right. Next, we have our last candy actually, unfortunately. It's the Maynard's, Maynard's Juicy Chews. So they are bite-sized fruit flavored chews with a burst of liquid fruit in the center. Oh cool. So we got the red one and the orange one. I'm not sure what flavors, but. I'm assuming orange. Which one are you gonna do first, orange? Yeah, whatever. Okay, oh wow, yeah, really little chewies. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's like soft fingerprints on it. It looks good. Oh wow. It literally burst out. Mmm. I like stuff like that. Those are really good. Wow, so like a starburst outside. Mm-hmm. And then like a gusher. Flavor. Yeah. I don't know if they got gushers in. If you're a '90s kid, gushers mm -hmm. were like always on your on your lunch. As I a feel kid. like this is gonna be even better. In, in a snack, orange is like always the worst, like near the bottom of the list for yeah, me. So these me ones, too. this one's gonna be better. I'll wait for you. Go my next human. Mm. Yeah. Cherry. What's the flavor? Cherry. Oh yeah. I'm wow. thinking better. These are so good. Oh wow. my god. They give us all orange. No way. What the heck, snack crap. We have two orange snack left. Snack <laughs> You can't. You have trouble saying that all the time. <laughs> no cherry left? Mm mm. Two orange. Wow, that's so good. So yummy. Cherry what flavor is like near the top. What of a way to end the video. What would you give that? S tier? Yeah, S tier again. I might have to hire the standards of S tier because yeah. that, these, these ones are really good. Yeah. Wow. What were your favorites? My favorite 
was probably a tie with, or a tie between this, surprisingly, and the one we just had, mm -hmm. the Maynard's Juice Chews. Yeah. And I would obviously put a country, country in, but I can't do that because we have it here. So if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the Millions oh. candies and the Monster Munch. Wow. I really like the Monster Munch. It's funny because someone commented saying, don't try yeah. the Monster Munch because it's bad. But like, I would eat a bag of these. I would eat a bag of these. They're so good. And then these, like, these are trouble. Oh man, they're you just, so good. That's something where you're just watching a movie and you're just handful yeah. of in your mouth. Next thing you know, literally, you ate like gone. a thousand calories yeah. of it. Thank you, Snack Crate, because that yeah. was awesome. Well, you could be sure to follow them right here. I'll put their Instagram down below. Order from them, and if we hit 500 subscribers, we might be sending you something like yes. that. Yes. So. so <laughs> yeah. So make sure you subscribe, tell all your friends and family to come watch our videos and subscribe if mm -hmm. they want to join our little family because one of you might be getting some Canadian candy. Some Canadian goodies. candy, yeah. So that's something we want to put together mm -hmm. for one of you guys, some, some famous Canadian candies that you haven't got to try. So um, 500. 500, that's the goal. And if we hit a thousand, we'll do another one. And also... Um, we wanted you guys to leave comments down below on different video ideas that aren't food related. So I know we've gotten multiple comments about trying different foods from the UK and other places. Um, mm -hmm. But we want to kind of spread our channel to more than just food videos. Yeah, like if you um, guys, I'm assuming you guys subscribe to us because you like, mm -hmm. where you think we're entertaining. Yeah. Or that we're stupid. Or Who that knows? we're cringy. Who knows? We, we want to do things that you want to see. Yeah. Because now that we're so kind of... We want to expand your channel. Yeah, now that we've kind of got... I mean, hundreds of subscribers is is not a lot relative to all of YouTube, but it's if you told us we'd be 120 subscribers yeah. after five months... Who would have thought? At least that's, that's really cool. So thank you to everyone who yeah, who's subscribed you. already. So... See you later. That's it. See you in our next video. Go watch the other one. Bye. Bye.